Hey YouTube, Shelko4 here. So I want to do a quick uh, video about the building up of an AR lower. In this case, I, uh, I built mine as a pistol. Obviously your mileage may vary. Uh, the real point of what I'm going to talk about in this video is uh, the DPMS uh, lower receiver build kit, the springs, D10 uh, pins, all that sort of crap. That's what I, uh, I built my receiver with. Now, the reason I just want to focus on that is because uh, when you open the package with the springs and the, uh, the pins and all that in it, there's no instructions. There's no, uh, nothing to identify what's what. And so it took me hours of watching uh, videos in slow motion to uh, figure out what was what and what went where. In a later video, I'll discuss uh, the tools I went with and uh, the tools you don't need and stuff like that. So let's talk about the spring that's in here and also the spring that's in here. They're the two longest springs, but also the smallest diameter. They look almost like a piece of spaghetti about that long. So those go in there. Uh, also the, uh, the detent pins that go in there, they're almost graphite colored. So, uh, take those out and, uh, th that's a good way to identify those. Now, when I built this up, uh, not having any, uh, any instructions or any identification on any of the springs, what I wound up doing was, uh, initially I watched a bunch of Brownells videos and they have an assembly order that they suggest. And I looked at that and then I looked at my receiver and I realized I am not going to be able to get here from there. So what I wound up doing was I built the thing up using uh, the parts that were the most obvious. So the first thing I did was installed the magazine catch release. That was uh, pretty apparent. That's also the biggest spring. It's about that big and uh, the biggest diameter. So I installed that to get that out of the way. Then the next thing I did was built up the, uh, the trigger group. And keep in mind that the pin, these two pins come in from the opposite side, but by assembling that, I was able to get those parts out of the other uh, way. Now, when it comes to the detent for the selector switch and for the, uh, uh, what, the bolt uh, catch, the detent for the select they're both the exact same size. The detent for the selector switch is silver. The detent for the bolt catch is black and the, uh, the back end of it is slightly cupped so the, uh, the spring will fit into it. Now the other thing to keep in mind is the, uh, the disconnect that lives on the, uh, the trigger. That spring is flared on one end, just oh so slightly. And you want that flare to end to go down in the disconnector and that flare is what actually holds the, uh, the spring into the disconnector and holds it stationary. What else can I tell you? Uh, let me think. I guess that's about it. There aren't that many parts. The, the problem really is identifying the parts. If you have any questions about, uh, about anything I've done or the parts or identifying anything, leave, uh, leave your comments down below. Otherwise, please subscribe. I'll do a uh, subsequent video on the, like I said, the tools I made, my upper receiver, uh, the parts I uh, spec'd out and, uh, and my hardship dealing with uh, a couple of vendors uh, as a, a warning to you. Anyway, if you have any questions, like I said, leave them in the comments. Otherwise, we'll talk to you later. Shalka 04 out. Thank you.